If you watched our video on giant prehistoric sea animals, you might have the feeling that everything that lives in the ocean is enormous and wants to eat you. But there are plenty of harmless and benevolent animals that currently call the ocean home. Curious about the friendliest animals that live in the ocean? Let's explore seven of the most charismatic and friendly sea creatures. The common bottlenose dolphin is one of the most famously friendly residents of the sea. There are 43 known species of dolphins worldwide, but the most popular is the common bottlenose dolphin. With a permanent smile, this friendly, intelligent, and playful creature is easy to love. Bottlenose dolphins usually feed on a variety of fish, eel, squid, and shrimp. These animals are very social and skillfully hunt together with their pod. Bottlenose dolphins can grow up to 13 feet long and 1,300 pounds. They can even live up to 60 years. This amazing athlete of an animal can jump as high as 26 feet and swim up to speeds of 20 miles per hour. They also currently inhabit all oceans. Dolphins have long been known for their kind nature and intelligence. According to Greek mythology, dolphins were messengers of Poseidon, the god of the sea. Aphrodite, the Greek goddess of love, was also often depicted with dolphins. There are also hundreds of accounts of surfers and swimmers who tell of heroic rescues by dolphins from sharks and other dangers. Though the species is not endangered yet, we should strive to be better guardians to them as they are to us and ensure the protection of these angels of the deep blue. The beluga whale is also known as the white whale. These chubby creatures are all white with rounded foreheads, no dorsal fin, and much like the dolphin, they have a permanent smile. Belugas are very social animals and live in groups of just a few whales to hundreds of whales. They spend their lives in these pods where they both migrate and hunt together. The beluga is often called the canary of the sea due to the various chirps, clicks, and squeals they are capable of making. They feed on a variety of fish, including salmon and herring and crustaceans. They are found in the waters of the Arctic and subarctic, but migrate south when ice begins to form. Belugas are among the smallest species of whales. They can live up to 50 years old and reach up to 20 feet and 3,000 pounds. They are slow swimmers, generally swimming about 2 to 6 miles per hour with short bursts up to 14 miles per hour. In just one breath, Belugas can travel up to 1.5 miles during only one dive. They are closely related to narwhals or the unicorn whales. Sadly, the beluga population is nearly endangered due to hunting and other problems currently plaguing the ocean. For some people, the word shark conjures up primal feelings of fear, but some sharks are friendly and well-natured like the whale shark. This gregarious giant is very social and poses no threat to human beings. You'd only have to worry if you were plankton since that's one of the few animals the whale shark likes to dine on. Ranging from gray to brown, they are characterized by a flat head, blunt mouth, a white belly with white spots and lines, and two dorsal fins. Recently, it was discovered that these animals could live up to 130 years, one of the longest living sea creatures. This animal closely resembles a whale and swims with its mouth wide open, filter feeding on small animals like krill, fish eggs, and small fish and squid. An adult whale shark can reach up to 40 feet and 30,000 to 40,000 pounds making it the largest shark in the world. Their mouths alone range up to 5 feet wide. Talk about a big mouth! These animals prefer tropical waters around the world. These magnificent and docile wonders of the sea 
are another tragic casualty and now classified as endangered, primarily because they are being hunted. The leatherback sea turtle is one of the world's most ancient species and have existed since the time of the dinosaurs. They have changed very little since their beginning. There are currently seven different species of sea turtles, the largest of these species being the leatherback, which can grow up to 8 feet and 2,000 pounds. These graceful reptiles can be found in tropical and temperate oceans all around the world. While other sea turtles have different diets such as plant life or crabs, the leatherback mostly feeds on jellyfish. Some turtles put in some serious mileage. The leatherback, for instance, swims up to 10,000 miles per year to reach nesting grounds. Female leatherbacks return to the same beach they were born to lay their eggs and can lay up to 150 eggs at one time. Did you know that? Instead of sex chromosomes, the temperature of the sea turtle's nest will determine the sex of her offspring? Higher temperatures result in females, while lower temperatures result in more males. All sea turtle species are currently under threat, some more vulnerable than others. Coastal development, pollution, and hunting play a significant role in harming these animal populations. Known for their athleticism, intelligence, and noisy barking, the California sea lion is another affable animal of the sea. It is just one of the seven different known species of sea lions. With a dog-like face, these creatures are quite friendly. Males are distinguished from females not only by size, but by a bony bump that forms on the top of their skull called a sagittal crest. This crest forms when the sea lion is about 5 years old. Males can reach up to 850 pounds and 7 feet, while females reach about 220 pounds and 6 feet. The sea lion is not a picky eater, as its diet consists of at least 50 different species of fish and cephalopods. They are usually found from Vancouver Island, Canada, all the way down to Baja, Mexico. They can also be found in the Galapagos Islands. Sea lions are generally very curious, especially young pups, though caution should be taken around them because of their sharp bite. Fortunately, unlike some of the other sea creatures whose populations are suffering, the California sea lion population is doing very well. Have you ever looked at a manatee and seen some resemblance to an elephant? That's because they are relatives. A manatee has toenails and prehensile lips just like elephants do. These slow-moving gentle giants are very peaceful and friendly creatures. They spend six to eight hours a day eating seagrass and other vegetation. They can be found from the Gulf of Mexico up to Cape Cod. They can swim up to 20 miles per hour, but this is only in short bursts they typically cruise around at about 3 to 5 miles an hour. Because their food has small grains of sand in it, this wears their teeth down and eventually the teeth fall out. However, they can grow new teeth throughout their life. They are incapable of using their mouths to attack, but they have no natural predators. Manatees are also able to control their buoyancy with their lungs. The lungs are located along the spine on the top of their bodies. Using the muscles in their rib cage, through contracting, they sink, and by relaxing, they float to the surface. This allows them to get oxygen from the surface without having to work for it by swimming up and down. This feature especially comes in handy when they are sleeping. Sadly, these sweet creatures are currently endangered and heading towards extinction. Humans are their biggest threat through habitat destruction, pollution, and boating. Of the more than 500 species of sharks in our oceans, leopard sharks are some of the friendliest you can swim with. They are about 4 to 5 feet long with sleek bodies and two small dorsal fins. They have a beautiful yellow and black leopard pattern from which they get their name. They typically live in shallow bays and estuaries, hanging out about a foot above the sand. 
they have small, narrow mouths and are harmless to humans. Leopard sharks are one of the most common sharks found on the coastline of California. Female leopard sharks do not lay eggs, but instead deliver their offspring by live birth. This results in fewer pups per litter compared to other sharks, but a greater success rate because of the safety factor. Leopard shark populations are starting to feel the effort of overfishing and pollution, and the species is on the verge of becoming vulnerable. Though all the animals we have described in this video are friendly and generally harmless, a safe distance should be kept from marine animals at all times. We must respect and protect these spectacular and friendly creatures so they can play their essential roles in the oceanic ecosystem and so that we can continue to share the water with them and watch them thrive. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment below.